is reaching like inside my room <laughs> for a whole year is like really intense. I hated that. I'm Emma and today I wanted to share what I love and what I hate about the University of Dundee. So I've been a student here for a few years now, graduated with a degree in immunology and then have stuck around to do a PhD for some reason or another. So um, I thought today I would share what I love and what I hate with a little bit of insight of being an undergrad and a postgrad at the same time. So when I was looking at coming and choosing universities, I was really interested in University of Dundee because of the really good life sciences. But there wasn't so much practical information on what it was like to actually study here. They had a few kind of really scripted, you know, tour around videos and stuff, which were fine, but there was nobody kind of sharing their experience. So I'm going to start off with the things I love and then tie it all together with the things I hate. So the first thing that I love about University of Dundee is purely a practical thing. Everything is really close by. So Everyone I knew was in walking distance. I never had to take a bus to see any of my friends, which I think is really good. In some other city universities, everyone's really spread out and it's kind of cheaper to live in outside areas. So people are doing that and it, the travel costs really hike up. But everyone was close by. All of the places I lived were walking distance to campus. All of my classes were like 10 minutes maximum walking between the buildings. Yeah, it was nice as well for a night out that you could just walk 10 minutes to a night out 10 minutes home and you didn't need to get in taxis or buses late at night and yeah that was from a purely practical perspective that was a really good thing. Also I loved the student union so it was right in the middle of campus it was very close to most of the halls. You come in the front door and down a floor there was a nightclub in the night, a cafe in the daytime, up one floor there was a pub, up another floor there was like a games room and kind of a cocktail bar and then on the top floor there was another nightclub. So there was a lot going on in the students union. It was good as an undergrad. For postgrad I don't really use it that much. I will kind of occasionally go for a drink or a lunch there but yeah nonetheless the students union is really good. The staff. So I had really good lecturers and support staff. They were always available for emails. Everyone who was kind of a main teaching staff had their own offices so you kind of knew the plaque on the door who to go and find and yeah the doors were generally open. If not the emails were good and I had lecturers who would be emailing me at like two in the morning for queries on stuff and that has continued on to my postgrad so there is lots of really helpful staff for postgrad study. They're often putting on like training courses and stuff like that for the postgrads so yes very dedicated teaching staff. It is cheap to live in Dundee. So compared to Edinburgh, the rent here is probably like knock a third off at least. And obviously if you're adding in the fact that you don't need to have transport costs, that really helps. So I would say Dundee is cheap for rent. It's cheap because you don't need to pay for travel as much. The nightlife as well is also very affordable. So there is a lot of clubs that are nearby and entry is kind of like five pounds, maybe 10 pounds to get into the clubs. But there's a lot of student society has got an affiliation with a certain club so they'll like give you free entry and yeah I think it's a really affordable place to live. The night bus. So there is a night bus that runs, it's just a little mini bus that runs from the students union out to some of the accommodation that's maybe like a 30 minute walk away and if you live anywhere else they will drop you on by on the way. So I absolutely love the night bus, a few of my friends have taken it. If you're in the union and you're out partying late or if you're working in the library late, especially in winter, the sun sets really early here, so it gets dark quite early. There is also a scheme, I think it's still running, that you can take a taxi anywhere in the University of Dundee if you show your student ID, so you don't need to pay for it that night. They will just keep a record of you and how much you owe for your taxi journey, so you can still get a taxi even if you've run out of cash or you don't have a card. You just say that you're a student and get a taxi so I think that service is still running. That was running when I was an undergrad and I think that was a really really good system. The traditions. So there are some lovely traditions that come with the University of Dundee. My personal favourite one is Gaudi. So we have this Gaudi system, I think it's a scheme that was kind of stolen from St Andrews University. 
but it's basically like a university family system. So not all of the subjects do it, but I was from life sciences and we make quite a big thing of this. I know the dentists and the medics also make a big thing of Gaudi. Basically what happens is you get assigned a kind of mom and dad from your upper years. So when I was a first year, I signed up and I was given a mom and dad, I drew a phone number out of a kind of bowl and I texted and I was like, hey, I'm your Gaudi child. And I think it was just a really lovely system of making friends in the university. So it was good to get out. You kind of then, from then on, all the way throughout my undergrad, I kind of knew of my like aunties and uncles and cousins and stuff like that throughout the university. And I don't know, it was just a really nice system often very high quality dress up themes around them and there were also other little traditions that we enjoyed in first year when we were in halls we had some strangers kind of knock on our door and they were like hey we used to live here last year and they kind of showed us we actually had an attic upstairs but you had to get into the attic with using a spoon so it was like a real funny night it was like the first week it was really lovely to have a little tradition of going back to the place where you used to live in halls the, la the next year and we did it as well one night we only did it in second year to visit the like new first years but it was still really lovely to go back and you know meet the people and throw unsolicited advice on them <laughs> as they were trying to get to know each other in the first week it was yeah it was really fun another really strange unique thing about the university of dundee is they have a free shop basically turn up to this shop run by volunteers and you can just take anything you want completely for free I think the system works quite well because there's a lot of international students coming and I guess you're just here for a few years. You need to buy everything when you arrive, like pots and pans, big jackets. You don't really want to take it home when you leave Dundee. And basically, if you're moving out of Dundee, you can dump all your stuff there so it doesn't need to be put in the bin. And if you're new there, you can pick up a few things that you need. So I do know in the Freshers Week they run a event in the chaplaincy. So they have like the huge chaplaincy hall with tables and all the things there because there's kind of too much stuff between the end of the year where everyone dumps their stuff and the Freshers coming where everyone needs stuff. So I do know they do a Freshers event for free things. Queue up early. There's always a big queue. It's I think one of the kindest, most caring community shops that I have seen and it's just brilliant. So now onto the things that I hate about University of Dundee. I hated classes in nine months. So I know I said one of the things I loved was that all of my classes were on campus and within walking distance. That's not strictly true. In my final year, I did do some modules in cancer biology that were based in nine months. It was an absolute maze barred by like the security passes. So if you regularly have classes there, I'm sure your key card will be activated it was just mine wasn't <laughs> which was really annoying another thing i hate is the library space so there is not that much space in the library during exam season the library itself is lovely but trying to find a seat during exam season is exhausting <laughs> especially if you want to try and find two seats together no chance so there is a bit of a library hogging system going on as well. I think they tried to stamp out recently with like, you have to put a thing on your desk when you're leaving so no one leaves their stuff unattended and comes back the next day. But yeah, I think the library needs to be expanded because there was definitely not enough seats for people during exam season. The rest of the time, it's a joy, but exam season in the library is hell. Oh, one thing I do love about the library though is they do open 24 hours a day during exam season, which is a miracle. So you can do all of your cramming and don't need to move, which some people really don't. So one thing I didn't care about in my first year, but subsequently grew to hate is the noise of the nightlife. <laughs> the nightlife is amazing and it's cheap and it's, it's ready coming. There's even like a Sunday night club event the nightlife is something that I grew to hate. The other noise I hated about University of Dundee is the sound of the gym. So I lived in Belmont Hall, 100 metres away from the gym, and the sound of the exercise classes is insane. Like, you can hear they're on a microphone, they're on a speaker, and it's loud, but the sound coming like out of the windows, it, it was reaching like inside my room <laughs> for a whole year, and it was very annoying. The sound of the gym ladies screaming their exercise classes is like really intense. I hated that. The other thing that I hated was not specifically University of Dundee but just a lot of the students University of Dundee fell for accommodation traps. 
So there are some landlords who everyone in the upper years kind of knows to avoid but a lot of the second years who are moving out of halls tend to fall for. So I don't know if I should name and shame them but Grant property seems to tempt in a lot of people. It tempts them in with really shiny photographs and then as a reputation it absorbs their deposits and they never resurface. So Jamal property is another one that has a reputation of promising the world. They'll kind of take students on tours and say like, oh yeah, we're planning on completely redoing this carpet, we're gonna paint all the walls, we're gonna put new cupboards on the kitchen and nothing ever changes. Yeah, I think that's not a direct thing about University of Dundee, but it's something that all of the students fall into the trap of, um, unless you kind of have a good system of like having a uni family and knowing people in the older years. There's a lot of bad landlords. So those are my loves and hates about the University of Dundee, being an undergrad student, being a postgrad, and generally living in the city. So I have also done a video on my entire biology degree in like 10, 15 minutes, every single module I ever did. So if you're interested to find out what a biology specializing in immunology degree entails, feel free to check it out. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.